UF IFAS is in the information business, and it delivers this research-based information into the hands of Florida residents through a variety of platforms. The best known and most widely used system is an online system known as EDIS. The Electronic Data Information System, or EDIS, is a searchable archive of information generated by experts at UF IFAS. The system has a wealth of knowledge covering a wide range of topics with everything from harvesting tomatoes and preventing peanut diseases to protecting manatees and improving family nutrition. And it's all available online with just a few keystrokes. But extension information wasn't always so easy to access. Prior to 1996, distribution of extension publications was very different. They had to be manually produced and delivered to all 67 IFAS Extension County offices. Articles ready for publication were edited, formatted, and manually laid out before being sent to the print shop. This process was repeated multiple times a day to generate more than two million printed sheets every month. And although efficient when it was created, by the mid-90s, the UF IFAS administration wanted a new way of doing things. What we were doing at that time was the best that we could do. I wouldn't say perfectly efficient system. They wanted a, a delivery system that didn't depend on a truck and a printing press. And if there was a problem in a county that had to do with something like a, a new disease or something, you could develop a publication and deliver it electronically as quickly as anything could have been done. As the associate director of IFAS Editorial, Ashley Wood was part of the committee tasked with streamlining the publication and printing process. They quickly focused on using new digital technology to share articles and publications using a CD-ROM database. The committee needed help creating this digital database and recruited Howard Beck. Beck saw it as more than a digital warehouse. He imagined a system that could help users find answers to their questions. Imagine a library where the librarian has read all the books and remembers them all. And you talk to this librarian if you want to know something, if you have a problem, you need to diagnose something, you need to get a recommendation. That was the expectations. It was not just a storage bin for text or other media. It was something that had intimate knowledge of the contents of that information. Building it wasn't easy, but Beck and his team were able to find solutions to every challenge. They created a standardized format that could convert text, graphs, and photos into the digital document, things we take for granted now. They trained editorial staff to use templates to add articles into the database that would be searchable. But the biggest challenge was convincing UF IFAS faculty and staff that these disks could hold all the information they needed and it would be easier to find. That was a brand new concept. What are you talking about? How, how does it do that? You know, we kept thinking, how, how, does, how is the program going to do that? I just tell it this word and it's going to find a publication in all the publications we have. Until the dawn of the internet, CD-ROMs were successful at bringing information to the extension offices so faculty could print publications as needed. The CD-ROM team could see the writing on the wall. The web was the next step for the database. Beck and his team set to work creating a new online system which became the archive for all IFAS publications and it needed a new name. I like to think I came up with the name. It was, it was E-D-I-S, letters that were pronounceable as a name, EDIS, and it served us well. Once EDIS went online, the system grew beyond the original academic vision. EDIS now enjoys a global audience, sharing its information with more people than ever before. In 2020 alone, EDIS recorded 5 million visits with more than 17 million page views. EDIS continues to evolve with the introduction of a new website, Ask IFAS. The new platform will be mobile-friendly, powerful, and streamlined. EDIS librarian Diana Hagen says the new platform will offer the ability to personalize a user's visit. The functionality that we want to make available is to do a lot of things like um, 
favoriting a publication or you know having um, a, pr a profile on the site where you, lo you log in or use your Facebook or Google login and um, and you see what's appropriate for you. I'm a gardener, you know, so I'm going to see all the gardening stuff and that's going to be right there. The newest edition of Edis embodies much of the IFAS original vision from 25 years ago. It continues to inform using today's advanced technology, and those who helped create and then shape EDIS know their legacy is still evolving and always will. That's been a fun part of this project. There's always been the new technology coming out, and you go, wow, what can we do with this? Sometimes nothing, but it's pretty fun to think about. We didn't know what it would, what it would be, it, you know. We had no idea that it would be what it is now, of course. But the idea at the time was not to have this stack of warehouse full of publications that had to be shipped out by truck. 25 more years from now, uh, I'm sure that there'll still be the deliverables in some manner. But again, as we evolved from a antiquated old desktop computer into handheld devices, that make uh, EDIS even more efficient in the field, anywhere that you are. I mean, you know, where will the evolution come 25 years from now? So go ahead, ask IFAS. EDIS has the answers.